Hey everyone, it's Martin. It's time for another Essentials thing. So today, gagawa tayo ng something close to home. Literally, dahil ang mga panaderya namin ay malapit lang sa bahay natin. So with just one dough, we will make three panaderya classics. So the first one would be Spanish bread, pan de coco, and then the panaderya style, ensaymada. So it's not like the yung usual ensaymada natin na alam na na may cheese, or yung maraming toppings. This time, it's just the regular dough. Siyempre, babrush pa rin natin siya with butter or margarine. And then, yun, slather with more margarine and then sugar. Burger. So first, we will make our dough. What I usually do is combine all the dry ingredients except for the salt. So here, I'm using bread flour followed by some white sugar. Next, instant yeast. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna dissolve my salt in my liquid. So, in this case, gatas. For mixing our dough, we are using the hook attachment. I'll give it a little mix. Distribute lang natin ng maayos yung flour with the sugar and yeast. And then, let me crack two eggs and add them all. And that will be followed by my fresh milk. So you can do this either by mixing, kneading, or by using our best friend, which is thyme. Like at this point, kahit hindi pa siya developed, if I cover this and leave it as is, I leave it in the refrigerator. Bukas, developed na yung gluten niya, yung flavors niya, it's good to go. Flatten, final proof, tas bake na agad. But since may mixer naman tayo, dedere-derecha yun na natin to. So I think it's gonna take around five more minutes of kneading. So my dough has a bit of gluten development. It's been mixing for like two minutes. So now it's time to add my room temp butter. Softened na to, para lang hindi mahirapan si mixer. Right, so medyo napagod yung mixer ko. So before I do anything, I brush my work surface with a bit of margarine. Onti lang. So the standard kneading is fold. Tapos dito, push until you get like a smooth dough. Hold. Ayan, ito na yung very smooth dough natin. Ayan, so I have 960 grams. So we can make 30 gram pan de coco, Spanish bread, and ensign bata. So I'll place it in a bowl, cover with a moist towel, and then we will work on the filling, bread fillings. Lahat ng baso namin dito sa Fat Kid and Side Studios, merong ganyan. First, we are gonna whip some margarine with some sugar. Tapos ito yung gagawin natin pang brush sa ensaymada after it cools down. So the point here is to loosen it up and mix it well with some sugar. Yeah, so this, this, uh, this is good enough. So since lahat naman sila medyo butter-based, unahin na natin yung pinaka-basic, which is this one. It's just butter and sugar. Just transfer this into a bowl. Next up is our Spanish bread filling. Okay. This one, low speed. I'm adding some brown sugar. Then add my fine bread crumbs. Yeah. So here. Diba? Ganyan yung itsura niya. How do I describe it? Para siyang creamed butter and sugar. Pero yan, meron na tong bread crumbs. So yun yung parang naging body ng mixture mo. And for our last filling, so what I like doing is combining my dry ingredients, which is desiccated coconuts, powdered milk, and brown sugar. Mix it a bit. Main source of sweetness natin will be two. So desiccated coconut, that's the body of your filling. Next for the flavor, syempre, yung margarine. Condensed milk. Yung mga filling, we made it in advance para lang it has a chance to set. Especially itong uh, pang tande coco natin. This once well mixed, go ahead and cover it and place it in the fridge until we're ready to make up our breads. And so our dough has rested for 15 minutes ko lang siya na ferment. Pero 30 minutes would have been great. And so to make it easier, yung iba dumidiretso nila sila from here. Pero ako, I like to shape each ball of dough para just to make it easier to form it. So bilugin lang talaga natin siya. I'll cover it with a moist towel. Clean moist towel. And so the dough has rested for a few minutes. 
Ngayon, pwede na natin siya i-make up into our final dough. So, I'm gonna go with pandekoko first because it's the easiest. So, for this one, turn it upside down. Flatten the sides. will leave a bit of a bump or a thicker part in the middle. So, I'm gonna put in around two tablespoons. Grab each corner. I'm gonna pinch it together. And kind of twist it if needed. There. That's your pandekoko. So, I, br I, I brushed this pan with a bit of butter. So it doesn't really matter if dikit dikit or not. We'll puncture lang natin yung ita. Yung signature tasbu. We'll, we'll let it rise until double and then brush it with some egg wash and bake. I set the temperature to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Next natin is the Spanish bread. So what we natin first step is flatten it. Again, yung i upside down yung siya. Ninipis ang ko yung pinakamalapit sa akin na side. And this will act as a glue that would seal your roll. Okay. A bit of the filling. So I spread my filling like so. Fold it, press. I take the corners and I fold it again. And I roll corners. And now it's a cute Spanish bread log. You toss in your fine breadcrumbs and place it on your pan. Right, so ito na. A proof na lang natin. For the last one, this is actually the easiest since wala siyang palaman. You just roll it, then ikot mo ganyan. Okay? But, tong ilalim, when I tuck it, parang if I pinch it into the center. So it doesn't unfurl. <laughs> Umayaw! Ano ba? And so these have doubled in size. So when I push it, may onting spring back na. That means, and I can feel then na uh, it has like gases inside. So they're ready to bake. For this one, pwede siyang diretso sa oven. But for this one, we'll have to brush it with some egg wash. Para lang may shine. So I'll bake this, I'll bake these at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 15 minutes. Could be wrong. 12 to 15. I'll start checking after like eight, uh, after 10 minutes. Both the Spanish bread and pandekoko I left there to prove faster, while this ensaymada bread I left dough. I left outside lang in the open. By the time I finish baking the pandekoko, sasalang ko na si Spanish bread, and after that, ready na rin to isalang. Tingin tingin kayo sa panadir ako di kayo bumibili. Yeah, so just put, uh, pull this out of the oven. So while it's still super hot, we brush na natin siya nung parang quick whipped margarine. And then when it cools down, brush ulit natin siya so you get that super fake buttercream. <laughs> Kasi parang nag whip lang naman tayo ng margarine prior to the time. For the ensaymada, this was, I used 30 gram buns, but you can go for 60, 50 to 60 grams para mas malaki siya. And now for the other breads, tapos na din, Spanish bread. Parang gusto ko na yung Spanish bread. Tapos pakita lang natin yung filling. You know, sobrang siksik niya. Since yung margarine medyo maalat siya, it really does well with the combination of filling na ginamit natin, which is brown sugar. And yung nag-cut dun sa richness niya is the breadcrumbs that we put inside. Pandi coco. You know. Mm. Mm. Very important yung when you make your filling for pandekoko, you let it sit for a few minutes, for at least 10 to 15 minutes, so it's a, it absorbs the the milk, yung sugar, and the butter that you put in. Yeah, so na ingit ako kay Erwan kasi last time he invited people, so I can invite them now. Ano ba preference mo when it comes to panaderia? Ma Spanish pre. Gawa ko rin naman tong Spanish bread. Ba't di na lang yung Spanish bread ko? Atin ba? Or, ikaw, gusto mong buo, gusto mong lunok agad. Very margarine. Right? Yeah. Uh, so imagine mo kung butter yung ginamit. I don't really wanna taste this because this is just butter and the bread. Pero yun, uh, once it cools down, babrush lang natin siya with. Eh, like that. Ano ulit pa nga bro? <laughs> Michael. Ayo, Michael. Sorry, puro asukal. That's another. That's my customer. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> thankful ka ba sa yung experience yes, today? 
Ito nga pala si Didi. Pamangkin ko to. Pamangkin ko sa tuhod. Sino nga ba yung nanay mo? Okay, sige. Thank you. Ayun, masarap. One dough and three panaderia classics. Very easy. So, I don't know, this makes operations easier if you want to try selling it at home. I remember noong sa operations pa, sobrang bilis ko magali. It's parang, it wasn't healthy. Very toxic. So, sometimes when we don't practice patience, minsan, di natin napapansin, medyo nagiging toxic din tayo. And we don't need that. Di natin kailangan yun. So, hindi ko naman sinasabing gumawa kayo lahat ng tinapay, pero it would help in practicing your patience. Okay, kunyari ako, nakikita si Irwan everyday nakikita ako. Nakakaubos ng pasensya yun normally. Pero dahil dito sa baking, I've grown to, eh, okay kami, di ba? So, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys learned a few things today. Until next time. Essentials. <laughs>